Same backstory. We leave you tonight with this. Ed and Lily Grexa live next door to the family of John Wayne Gacy on Summerdale in Norwood Park. The Grexa's daughter, Audrey, used to babysit for Gacy. So I stayed in the house, and I didn't know there was bodies under there then. As the white plastic bags were transferred to a sheriff's van, the old... In 1978, Bernard police descended on the Gacy house. To me, the whole thing is kind of a blur when it happened. Most of the time, I try to stay away. Her father shot home movies. What would these film reels reveal? Sisters Audrey and Leslie had not seen them. We had to be really friendly with all the police officers that were there. So they would let us go over there and go in the house and look. And he had taken the camera over there to take movies of it. And that's what was missing. The films show mostly exteriors of the neighborhood during that December. The reel of anything inside the Gacy home is missing. It disappeared. John actually called right after he got arrested and talked to my dad. And my dad said to him, why'd you do it, John? And I guess John says, oh, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. But after five weeks of testimony, a jury takes just two hours to convict Gacy in 1980 of murdering 33 young men. These are both paintings that John, John did. did and gave to our parents as gifts. These were done in jail. Gacy also corresponded with their mother, Lily. No, I think she just was fascinated with the whole thing. He sent pictures, like a model of his home he made from popsicle sticks. But mostly, there are letters. You remarked the eyes of my animals were good. That's what you notice. Same for clowns. I don't answer everyone's letters. Men ask questions. Women just write. Some just want to know the infamous John Wayne Gacy. I didn't know the murderer. You know, I knew the neighbor. Is there a reason why you didn't just throw these in the trash? You know, I don't know what to do with them. I don't think I should throw them away because I think it's still, it's part of a history, really. And I know a lot of people collect that stuff, but I don't, but you know, what do I do with them? I don't know. I feel I have put a heavy burden upon a lot of people who I hope, like you, don't sit in judgment of me. The correspondence includes Gacy's last letter before his execution. Thanks for being there and being the best neighbor I had. Peace is near. My death, while it may comfort someone, not alone have served justice as the killers are among you.